Hey everyone, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to go over highly suspicious and unfairly cute. It's Brittany, bitch. I received this on ARC many, many, many months ago and I just finally got around to reading it. I was originally gonna make a reading vlog for this, but I ended up finishing it without vlogging anything. So I just figured it'd be easier to just make a review. I thought this deserved to be talked about and I thought it deserved its own video. So here we are. So let's get into Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. This is her first YA novel, which I think was a surprise for all of us because we know her as the adult romance writer she is. So she's written many, many novels. Her most popular series is of course, the Brown Sister trilogy. So we have Get a Life Chloe Brown, Take a Hint Danny Brown, and Actor Age Eve Brown. I love the Brown Sisters trilogy and I have read a couple of her other novels as well. Overall, I think Talia Hibbert is an incredible author and I really enjoy her writing style. I will have to say this is my least favorite novel from her so far, but I ended up giving this 3.5 stars. So I do write it down to three stars on Goodreads because I liked it. I didn't really like it and I didn't love it. So to me, it deserves a three star, but I think it's a really well-written novel. I just don't know if it was necessarily my cup of tea. We are following Celine and Brad who are basically ex-best friends who are now in high school and they're both competing for a very prestigious scholarship program. And to do this program, you basically go to like survival camp in the wilderness and you like earn points based off of like how you work with others, teamwork, that kind of thing. They're both going for different reasons and they both obviously really want to win. And I really love the first half of this novel because they are not friends in the first half. They're definitely rivals. It's kind of a rivals to lovers thing because obviously they are ex-best friends, but I did feel like that was resolved way too quickly because their tension was just incredible and I love the school setting in the very beginning. They both eventually realize their feelings for one another but still have to compete in this scholarship program in order to win the free scholarship and test their ambition. So overall this was incredibly sweet and had Talia Hibbert's usual humorous writing style and delicious witty banter but this one was the least memorable out of all of her books for me. First off let me go over some of the things that I loved because there were a lot of things to love about this book. Namely the OCD and anxiety representation was really well done. The bisexual representation was really well done. The witty banter was absolutely incredible as per usual. The family support was amazing. Both Brad and Celine had different family dynamics, but they both had incredible family support. It was a very like heartwarming book in that sense where even though both of them had gone through their own issues, Brad namely with his terrible OCD and anxiety and Celine with, I would say the loss of her father just because her father is present in this book, but he's not present in her life. And he basically abandoned her and her sisters and her mom is like the matriarch of this family. And I also always love how Miss Talia always includes amazing flaws and fears and wants and desires from her characters. They always feel like very real people, which I really enjoyed because I could definitely tell Brad and Selena part. They have very different voices, even though we're hearing from both of them in this novel, it is a dual POV. They're both very different people and all the people in their lives are very different people. And I really love that about this book. And I love about her writing in general. Now let's talk about the things I didn't enjoy. So, Overall, their romance developed entirely way too quickly. It went from, I don't like you at all to like, I'm completely head over heels fucking in love with you. And it was just way too quick. And I think it's because this book was incredibly fast paced as well, which is really great. I love fast paced novels, but in this instance, it actually didn't serve the narrative. I really needed more time with them in more of like a limbo of not knowing how they feel because it went from ex best friends, loathing you, complete rivals to like, I'm literally the one to marry you like tomorrow. And I just didn't really see that transition as well as I would have liked. I think it was just a little too fast paced for that. I also never really felt their romance. I'm not sure if that's because this is, you know, YA and so they didn't ever get anywhere other than like some heavy kissing or anything. And maybe I just didn't feel the romantic tension there, but I just really didn't feel it between them. I really just saw them as friends and it just didn't really work for me as a romance per se. Also this BEP competition was incredibly weird where they had to go into the wilderness to compete for, I think her name was like Breakspear or whatever, Catherine Breakspear and like be part of her like scholarship program. I feel like that was just a really weird storyline. I feel like for a scholarship program, I would have liked something else. I'm not really sure what that is. I just don't really think that that wilderness thing really worked for me. I found it really odd. Um, I also liked it more if it was like a, like a summer long camp and they were there for a really long period of time. I feel like the competition parts of it were so small to 
to the story and there were only like a couple of chapters and like nothing happened. It just, it didn't feel like it was really serving the narrative at all. And I don't really understand why that was it. Why did you have this competition take place in the wilderness? Because it just didn't really seem to flow. The school setting was incredible. Like when she was writing when she was at school and otherwise I really liked it. But the minute we get to the competition, it just like did not work for me at all. The competition was just really oddly done as a subplot. The first time we ever enter the competition is when I feel like the book kind of flops and I just kind of lost interest in it. Because up until that point, I was very interested. I really want to know what's going on. I was really rooting for them to get together because I love the rivalry and the school setting. And like I could really feel the tension. And the minute we get to the competition, I feel like the baby was thrown out with the bathwater. Like the minute we get there. I think that if this book was aged up to like college and became new adult and could get a little bit sexier and we focus on them at college, like this book could have easily been a five star read. I think what really ruined it for me was this weird scholarship competition and the overly fast pacing to where I didn't really get to see them as a couple. And then on top of that, I just feel like the plot wasn't very strong with this one. Even though I really enjoyed the characters, I didn't really root for them together. Even though I was very happy for them uh, with their own separate accomplishments, it just did not really work for me as rooting for a couple. And I feel like if they were in college and things could have been a little more spicy and I felt like more pressure, like this could have been like a really good read for me. And it wasn't a bad read by any means. I really enjoyed this, but I just feel like it could have been better. Like it's very easy in sub books for me to point out exactly why I didn't love parts of it and this one just really needed to be aged up. I think that Miss Hibbert may just like need to stick to adult romances because the YA version of this just did not work as well for me. That's pretty much my full thoughts on the matter. If you want to disagree and argue with me down below please feel free to do so. I really enjoy her writing so please don't take this as an attack. I just thought I'd let you know how I felt about this novel because I really really enjoy her writing. This cover is absolutely fucking stunning. It just wasn't my favorite by her. My favorite by her if you did not know is actor H. E. Brown which is one of the only books that's ever actually maybe like literally laugh out loud. Take my opinion with a grain of salt and I'll talk to you guys all very very soon and have a lovely day.